Have you ever felt like you don't deserve the success you've attained as a restaurant owner? Or maybe you feel like you're not good enough or smart enough to run your restaurant and someday somebody's going to find you out. Or maybe you focus too much on all the negative. If you can relate to any of these, you're not alone. What I want to do is help you recognize the downside to this kind of thinking and what you can do well to get past it. Hey there, Restaurant Pro. This is David Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. And today, we're slicing into a topic that hits close to home for many of us, imposter syndrome in the restaurant world. I speak with restaurant owners almost on a daily basis. Restaurant owners come from all walks of life, varying degrees of education, experience, and mindset. And one of the things that pulls on my heartstrings the most is when I encounter a restaurant owner who's suffering from imposter syndrome. Let's start by defining imposter syndrome. What is it? It's the psychological pattern where an individual doubts their accomplishments, often feeling like a fraud despite evidence of their success. In the restaurant industry, with its fast pace and constant customer feedback, it's easy to see why many of us feel this way. This past week, in fact, I had an opportunity to talk with a restaurant owner who was forced to drop out of college immediately to take over his family's restaurant due to a family tragedy. 30 years later, now doing almost $4 million in sales, annual revenue. All this owner could see was how the restaurant required him to be there all the time. I know you can, you can empathize with that. Yet this man has built an incredibly successful business. I know with 100% certainty, every restaurant owner at one point in time can identify with these feelings. The toll of imposter syndrome isn't just emotional. It can ripple throughout your business. It affects decision-making, staff morale, and even your guest dining experience. Because you're the leader. Everything drives off of you and how you feel, how you present yourself. The industry as a whole grapples with this. Yet it's rarely ever discussed or discussed openly. But here's the good news. Recognizing this is the first step to overcoming it. One powerful antidote to imposter syndrome is celebrating your successes. It's about taking a moment to reflect on what you have achieved. There've been time where I've even advised some of my members, well, to create a success journal. This is where you write down all your wins, no matter how small they seem. And it's just, it's not just about saying, you know, this is what I've done. You know, it's not just me saying that this is a good thing. Experts in psychology affirm the power of positive reflection in building confidence and combating feelings of fraudulence. Now let's connect this to the restaurant prosperity formula. The formula is about leadership systems, training, accountability, and taking action. Each of these elements build on a foundation of confidence, helping to, to dispel any imposter syndrome. See, with knowledge, there's power. With knowledge, you can overcome anything. With knowledge, you have confidence. But it's bigger than that. For instance, when you have robust systems in place, you're not just winging it, which creates that doubt. You, my friend, will be following a proven path, a path that many restaurant operators, just like you have have followed before with success. That in itself is an achievement, an achievement worth celebrating, right? When you can run your restaurant on your system, your process, your way. Now, as I wrap this up, remember, feeling like an imposter sometimes is more common than you think, especially in our industry. But by recognizing your achievements and implementing structured, proven systems, you can start to see yourself as a successful restaurateur the successful person that you truly are. I hope today's episode has given you some, well, food for thought. And if it resonates with you, or if you have your own, own story to share, I'd love to hear. Share it with me. But do me a favor. Don't spend the time on all the negative. Take a moment, look backwards, assess all the things that you have accomplished. I bet you're going to find out you, my friend, are the shit. Be sure to join me live every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube, travel schedule permitting, where I'll get you pumped about the upcoming weekend, get you excited about crushing your goals and finding the motivation to be best you possible. Plus, I'll answer your burning questions live.